We've all heard of Coral Draw, but have you heard of Coral Draw Go? Well, you can now edit designs on your browser without having the need of a supercomputer. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, everyone? So this is my Coral Draw Go dashboard, and I am ready to start designing right away. I don't need to install an application. I don't need to have a supercomputer. All I need is a browser to log in so I can design from anywhere in the world. Now, one of the beauties about Coral Draw Go is that it really focuses on the vector images so I can edit almost every single aspect of it. I can modify it. I can design it. I can change a whole bunch of things with this things that you couldn't do on other designers that are online out there, which this one makes it stand out in that aspect. Now I can work with the CDR files from Coral Draw Go. I can bring in import from other applications and I can also export in different formats, including CDR, right? Now, the first thing that we'd have here in the dashboard is the getting started templates that you can get started with. Now I can open up my CDR from my dashboard. I can go ahead and check it out from my cloud from Coral. So anything that I edit on the application that's installed application or on my mobile here where I have it on the go system, I can access it through here. Now I also have access to templates. So if I go to browse templates, I can choose all categories and I can choose through the templates and there's a ton of templates available or I can choose blank page for a certain aspect ratio that I can use right away. Now, in this case, let me go to all categories and I'm going to select one of the templates right here. So I am going to select something like this right here. Okay, so I go, I can go ahead and view it here and I can go ahead and jump into the editor version. Now, the idea of curl draw go is to start editing straight from here without having to jump into it, an installed application or somewhere else. Now, there's several tools available that really makes this highlight. All right. Now, the first thing is that we are located in a template. Now, you're going to notice here that everything is tied together because it's grouped. I'm able to view all the layers in the object section so I can highlight it a layer right here and I can view every single aspect of these layers. So every single part of that layer, I can select it and I can edit every single one of these layers independently and I can even turn it into curves in case I want to modify something straight from Coral Draw Go. Now, in this case, I can ungroup this whole layer or I can go ahead and select it here. So I'm going to ungroup it. Here we go. And I'm able to select different sections. So here is another group. So let me go ahead and come back. Here we go. And I'm going to ungroup this one too. All right. Click away. Now I'm able to select one of the pieces of this particular layer. Now, first of all, I want to work with one of these objects so you understand the flexibility of Coral Draw Go. Now, as I mentioned before, it's not just about a simple editing feature is about having a bunch of tools available to edit it. Now, once I've selected one of these objects, I have the properties for what I've selected here. Now, on the right, you can see size and rotation. I can change it straight from here. I can change other aspect ratios. I can flip it if I need to or move it around. But in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is. I can enable painter brush if I want to use this as a brush. And yes, the brush does work as you draw along with it with different settings on the brush, which I'll show you in a bit. I can fill this with a solid color or I can turn this off. I can work with the outline. There's a transparency options here. So if I want to add transparency and then I can set the transparency that I want to use the shadows, I can also work with the curves of this. So I'm going to click on it, double click. And here we go. Now I have curves that I can change. Tell me that that's easy to do in another image designer out there. This is super easy in Coral Draw, and there's a bunch of features that we can work with to modify it and really fine tune it the way we want. Now, in this case, I'm just doing things randomly, but you can see that it's possible to do a whole lot of things. Now you can see all the objects available here, which I can change and fine tune to this, including gradients. So for example, if I want to work, work with gradients, I have the option here to do linear gradient, for example, and that changed up a bit radial. You can see that I changed the gradient. So a lot of fine tuning goes into this and change the uh, gradient options here, which are really robust. Now, for the features that we can bring into design are over here on the left. So first off, we got our project settings that we can customize the sizes, the aspect ratios, the background, etc. Even change this to millimeters, pixels, inches, centimeters, whatever works best for you. And I can also bring inside stock assets. Now, stock assets is a library of photos that I can bring inside of here, which is really interesting. But what I really love about Coral Draw Go is vectors. Now, the cool thing about vectors is that they are fully customizable. So it's not just about bringing in the vector. You can do a whole lot of things with it. So let me go ahead and select this vector. For example, we're going to put it inside of here. Click on it. 
and I can change this different aspects of this vector. So for example, I am going to double click on this and I just clicked a little piece of that vector and I'm able to edit this vector right here. So this little piece, I'm able to modify it if I like. So it's just super easy to do right here. Now, what if I double click on it? Well, it jumps to curves. So now I'm able to do a whole lot of things with the curves. So if I want to customize something like this, it's really easy here on Coral Draw. I mean, that looks really ugly, but you get the idea that it's just super easy. And if I want to remove one of these, it is possible by hitting delete and I remove the curves and then I can kind of curve it in different ways. So it's just super easy to start using it this way. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. But I really love the option of having vectors and having the option to edit single, every single aspect of the vector. Now, aside from that, there's also the import settings. So if I want to import an image, that is possible too. There's shapes and there's a ton of shapes available, but I can also bring in things inside of the shape. So let me go ahead and select the circle here. And here we go. And what if I want to right click on it and I want to convert it into a mask frame? It's super easy. Let's go ahead and bring in an image now. Here we go. Let's go into photos and I'm going to bring in this guy right here. Okay, so I'm going to place it anywhere I want, but I'm going to drag it inside of this circle that we've just created. And boom, it's as easy as that. It is now inside of this circle. I'm going to, get it. I'm going to remove that, but you see how easy it is to bring in shapes and use the mask in the shape. So it's not complex at all to use that feature. Then we have our brushes. We can actually draw here with really fine tune options. So it's not like a dinky just pencil out there where it looks really ugly. I can do really fun things with this, useful things as needed. So for example, if I want to use, uh, this was kind of interesting, glass. So let's go ahead and draw here. And we got some glass there. So it enables you to do different things. Now, depending on what I select, I have the properties on the right. So we got the style. So right now it's glass, grass in this case. We have the size. So if I want to make it smaller, the brush transparency, and I can draw again. You can see here it's now smaller and has more transparency. So a bunch of editing features and different styles to draw from. So you got your draw options there. So it's solid lines, dotted lines, dashed lines, dotted and dashed lines. There's also another type of pencil and work with these and you get a whole bunch of options. And we also have the option to bring in text. So if I want to bring in text here, it's super easy. Now, let me go ahead and bring it over here in the let me write something. OK, here we go. Click outside Let me bring it inside of here so we can see it. Let me go ahead and zoom on this text and text doesn't stop there. So I could bring in text here and I got the properties over here so I can change the font over here to the size, make it bold, italic, painterly brush, fill, outline, shadows. If I want to enable shadows to this. So what if I want to really change up the text, something unique? I can turn this into curves too. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to convert it into curves. So now what if I want to change the look and style of the A? Well, that is possible too. So I'm going to click on it and now I'm able to move every single aspect of this. So let's just say that, um, I don't know, I want to make this a little bit more chunky. I can move these around the way I want to and just kind of change the look and style of the individual letter of this font. So turn it into curves. It gives you a lot of flexibility and something that you wouldn't find in other image editors out there, especially the ones online. So definitely a great option. I can pan and zoom through here or do it through my trackpad in this case. Now, what about the export features? So let's just say that you have a really beautiful design. You're good to go and you want to export it. Well, you got an export feature here on the top and you have several options available. So you can do JPG, PNG, WebP, PDF, PDF or web, which is more compressed, SVG, or if I just save it, it saves on my cloud with CDR, which is the Coral Draw file. I can also set the include in the entire page or select an object only. So if I have an object selected and I want to export that, that is possible too. Size and resolution, pixels, you got the option all the way up to 600 DPI, which is really good quality. Plus, you got other settings here for quality. There's also print setting here. So if you want to do all pages or entire page or select an object only, that is possible too. Now, if you want to access the CDR file, that will be over here. Let's go to home, go to my projects and in projects, you have all the available projects that you have been working with. If I go ahead and right click on this and go ahead and go to download, that will download the CDR file in case I want to edit it somewhere else 
or if I need to save it in that format to X to send it over, I could do it this way. Or if I want to open it up in the Coral Draw application, that is possible too. But Coral Cloud will get you access to both of these where you can edit it on both applications, Coral Draw Go or the Coral Draw application. So it's just super easy to start working with Coral Draw Go. So definitely a great option for anyone who needs to work with images in the browser without having the need to have a computer with a lot of resources in order for it to work. So having a version that you can use anywhere in the world through a browser is a fantastic option. So check out Coral Draw Go, link provided in the description and get started right away. And that's a wrap.